Unit 3 Inclusion Reading A The girl who asked why In the last video we have seen that the invitation was sent uh, to the different academies in the world and from there the uh, scholars the brightest scholars from that academies were uh, invited to the king's uh, palace for joining the panel of the scholars and to come up with a convincing or uh, uh, the king has invited the scholars and philosophers from different part of the world in order to uh, combine uh, collect the you know the knowledge or in order to compile all the knowledge in the universe into books so um, we have come here that when the girl she came to the king's palace then everybody was surprised to see her because you know no girls were at that time allowed to join the scholars panel until the girl is accompanied by a man so when a girl reached the palace or when she went to that grandeur you know the girl when she entered everybody was surprised and uh, the people or the audience and the other scholars you know they were having objection uh, with her presence and then uh, we also saw that when she went there so the audience or the scholars you know they were um, looking for the solution from the king and the king uh, pondered for some moment and then um, he said to the girl that girl there is some misunderstanding a uh, woman is uh, you know not supposed to be in a scholar's panel until she is accompanied by a man and then the girl she said pardon your majesty but I was invited and she gave the convincing uh, reason to the king uh, by saying this that you know uh, you sent the invitation for the brightest scholar in my academy and I am the uh, brightest scholar in my academy and on that invitation there was nothing mentioned about only male scholars being allowed and the uh, female scholar or the girl is not allowed for uh, the panel or for the conference to join when the girls he made a good point uh, the king uh, he gave a little chuckle or he smiled or he gave a little laugh and then the king he himself said that i don't have any uh, objection uh, uh, to make you stop uh, sit in the scholars panel i do not have any objection said the king and then uh, and then the audience they murmured what they said but i don't think a woman can join this discussion murmured one of the women in the audience see one of the women she murmured murmured means uh, you know she spoke in a very low quiet voice she spoke in very low tone she said something what she said but i don't think a woman can join the discussion she said that and you know the girl heard and she said why why can why cannot a girl join this uh, the discussion or why cannot a woman join the discussion that woman said you will not feel okay uh, sorry another woman said what she said you will not feel comfortable around so many men okay another woman she said to the girl uh, in response of her why question that you will not feel comfortable around so many men and the girl she said i have no problem why she said like that because she said further on she gave the reason i have no problem because my focus is on my work not on men why she said like this let me uh, remind you you know when uh, she entered uh, this co uh, the conference hall you know uh, someone screamed and someone said preposterous to her means she is not a female of good reputation 
uh, and someone also said that you know look at her clothes uh, so provoking you know it's disgusting and they pointed out on her nature and on her character and they said that this, uh, this girl is not of good reputation and that is why when you know the a woman she murmured then uh, that she said that a uh, woman is uh, women cannot join the uh, discussion and then when the girl uh, she asked the question why uh, is not a woman worthy to join the discussion so another woman replied that when you are among the scholars you will not feel comfortable around so many men and now this girl is replying she said that i have no problem why she said like that because her you know focus is on her work not on men means this girl is of good reputation okay now move on you don't have to do this you are not bad looking you can marry some wealthy gentleman advice one elderly now what happened after that an elderly you know gen, uh, an elderly person or an elderly scholar said to the girl or let's say suggested to the girl and she said uh, that elderly scholar said to her you don't have to do this you you have not to join or you you should not join or by joining uh, the scholars uh, panel you are not doing something great according to uh, elderly scholar uh, and um, elderly scholar is uh, suggesting that you are not bad looking you should uh, marry some wealthy gentleman and then you must be uh, living a settled life elderly scholar said but the girl ignored that and then after that the king said what the king said the king said let us have a discussion if the scholars have any objections they can debate with her if she wins she will join the panel now here came uh, the king came with uh, came up with a conclusion and said if anybody is having you know uh, the problem or any objection uh, of her joining then the king came up with a solution and uh, he said if any scholars have objection they can debate with her if she wins then she can jo join the panel if she will not win the uh, discussion she will not join the panel so this was the con uh, um, the conclusion we can say that the king came up and then uh, you know several like the um, solution and um, they were sure that the girl will be humiliated by the scholars because uh, they thought or everybody in that uh, conference all thought that the male scholars are having greater knowledge than the women uh, something like that they had the uh, that, uh, they had that, that kind of mind set up and then when uh, they came up such a solution and then the scholars you know on that dais or you know that dais means uh, the platform or uh, where uh, the scholars they were sitting so all the scholars they um, selected an elderly representative or uh, in order to lead the uh, discussion they all the scholars they selected an you know elderly scholar why they selected an elderly scholar because elderly scholar is usually you know the experienced person of such uh, discussion or debates and then you know when they selected elderly scholar for as their representative so when elderly scholar was selected and then the elderly scholar he said to the girl so by joining the discussion what do you want to prove that is the question keep in mind that na uh, elderly scholar he said so by joining the discussion what do you want to prove that women are better than men two question he asked what do you want to prove and that women are better than men so the girl she gave simple reply and she said no sir i don't want to prove anything i am here to join the discussion to quench my thirsty for knowledge now here is other thing to quench my thirsty for knowledge now everybody on that conference hall let's say all the scholars on that conference hall you know they were there to have discussion and to quench their thirsty of knowledge for their knowledge and the same the girl was also there to quench her thirsty for knowledge 
and then she uh, replied like that fearlessly and uh, like all of you she said you know as you are here to qu uh, quench your thirsty for knowledge i am also here to uh, uh, to quench my thirsty for knowledge quench meaning here to satisfy your feeling so she wanted to satisfy herself whether she is uh, that capable or not you know she had joined the scholars panel move on then scholar uh, elderly scholar he said but greater knowledge is not for women elderly scholar said but greater knowledge is not for women girl again she asked the question i beg your pardon sir but why now here she asked again the question why now here she said i beg your pardon that means excuse me that word is used for excuse okay so she said i beg your pardon it means excuse me sir but why why greater knowledge is not for women the elderly scholar again he replied by saying this because female intellect is weaker than men the elderly scholar said the greater knowledge is not for women because female intellect is weaker than men the girl she said says who sir who said you like that now the elderly scholar said it is written in hymns now what is hymns hymns a uh, song of praise of worship okay so it is written in hymns who said like that the elderly scholar the girl again asked may i ask who wrote these hymns or those hymns again she asked the question who wrote those hymns the elderly scholar again said the hymns were written by our forefathers now elderly scholar said that hymns were written by forefathers okay the girl again asked by forefather you mean only male ancestors the girl uh, the elderly scholar again says yes of course by our male scholars again the girl she said how did our forefather knew that women have a weaker intellect another question was asked by the girl she said how do our forefathers knew that women have a weaker intellect the elderly scholar said they noticed means our forefather noticed that the women are having weaker weaker and intellect and at this time elderly scholar was irritated but the girl again asked the question what she said but how my lord give me an example how did they notice see again she is asking question see i have told you earlier uh, when uh, when beginning the lesson that girl had a lot of questions she asked so many questions and here when she asked again the question the elderly scholar was irritated and he said i don't remember <laughs> the elderly scholar is saying that i don't remember and then uh the girl she said doesn't matter why don't any of our uh, of you scholars ask me question to my intellect or weaker intellect the girl is asking question why any of you are not asking me any question to prove my intellect many scholar thought of asking her questions so many uh, scholars were there and no, so many scholars uh, you know thought about asking her the question but they feared why they feared because her eminence confidence means she had you know much confidence in herself and she was asking the questions with boldness and confidence and she was also dared to give the questions answer and that is why she was uh, saying to the uh, scholars that why any of you do not ask me the question now you ask too many question girl shouted the elderly scholar the elder scholar who was you know uh, selected as representative that scholar said you are so many questions girl you know the uh, he was furious means he was angry who the elderly scholar was angry and the atmosphere was tense here the tense word is used for or uh, used about Uh, atmosphere or a situation in which people feel worried and not relaxed so you know all of the uh, the conference hall everybody in that conference hall they were not 
relaxed but they were worried okay so the atmosphere was tense okay move on sir answer her why is a female in tech weaker than a male males uh, said the king now king uh, directly you can say or indirectly he is supporting the girl by asking this question why is females intellect is weaker than male uh, the king is asking to the elderly scholar and he is also asking the uh, elderly scholar to answer her but elderly scholar he said i need to study your grace to come up with an example means elderly scholar do not have any example he needs to study for that so the king said then i can't stop her for joining the scholar's panel she had come her uh, here on her own merit here merit meaning the quality of being deserving or be worthy so the king said that i cannot stop her to join uh, from joining the scholars panel because she has come with her own merit because she deserves that or she is worthy on sitting on the scholars panel and the king said i will allow her to sit on the scholars panel until you come up with a convincing example this is important okay the king said that i allow her to sit on the scholars panel until you scholars do not come with a convincing example so the uh, nobody uh, on that uh, panel no scholars had uh, no scholars had the convincing example or convincing reason uh, or convincing answer to give to the king and to the girl move on and then people were still doubtful you know so many uh, were present in that um, conference hall many of the scholars uh, the king he himself and uh, the girl and so many audience were there male and female many were there but many people in that they, uh, that conference hall you know they were doubtful about girls worthiness or uh, girls deserving but the when the discussion passed so many discussion took place in that conference hall but you know as the dis discussions took place the uh, the doubts of those people were vanished when is means disappeared okay by uh, the day, uh, days past the girl took part in several discussion uh, asked so many questions and gave so many so many questions answered the scholars you know who were present in that uh, conference hall all of them were astonished means all of them were surprised of her brilliance she was a brilliant girl she had uh, so many questions and so many answers as the discussions took place she gave a lot of questions answer and by this she proved that girls do not have the weaker intellect and then move on when the final draft of, uh, draft of the book was compiled okay when the final book was compiled collected together you know when uh, they uh, there was discussion about so many uh, things and the questions were asked you know those answers and the questions were you know collected together written and collected together in uh, and made uh, made the books or uh, when the final book uh, book was compiled you know and then many hymns which were composed by the girl were included so many hymns were composed and those composition of the girl were included in that final book more nobody knows for sure what happened to the girl thereafter nobody knows what happened after that conference with that girl or to that girl nobody knows but so many people so many thinking so many ideas so what happens uh, to that girl let's see some says she constructed a book of her own hymns nobody knows surely okay nobody is sure about that girl what happened with her what happened to her thereafter nobody knows but some says what they say she constructed a book of her own hymns some says that she has made or she has constructed a book of her own hymns and some says she opened an academy for girls different people different stories and different uh, opinions but everybody agrees everybody agrees that the girl who asked 
why became the first female scholar so in olden days it was thought that the girls are having weaker intellect than the male but the girls he proved that the girls are not having weaker intellect but she also proved that the girls were not given the privileges to prove their intellect and today itself it it's not mean that the girls are not having weaker uh, they uh, they are having weaker intellect it's not that but if you provide the girls the opportunity to prove the uh, themselves they will uh, you know perform themselves much better than the male